So after a little bit of tinkering, I've got uh, my ESP8266 uh, 07 model. I boarded it out, uh, hooked it up to the RS-232 module over Ethernet for the flashing. And I've got one Dallas sensor here, and then I've got a RGB LED that I'm only using the blue side for right now. The RGB is connected to uh, GPIO 5 on the board. I had to pin it out because the board won't, uh, you can't fit the whole thing on there with a breakout on it. So it's on GPIO 5, and then the Dallas sensor is on GPIO 4. So what I did is I went ahead and pieced together some of the code that was posted on the community website and then also added some stuff as well. So what I did is as you can see is virtual pen v1 but that's only a placeholder. I did not actually use virtual pen v1. Once you get this all configured and you put your the, the Cayenne begin statement with the token SSID and password as variables and then do the sensors begin, this will activate the, uh, the ESP07 to run uh, basically in and out. So you're collecting data and I've got a serial port open showing the data that's coming from it. And these are the uh, sources for the temperature. So once you get all that stuff do, done and flash the ESP07, um, you can go back to the actual uh, dashboard and do uh, the add widget and temperature and DS18B20. You select the device and go through the motions. So you'll do virtual because GPIO is not selectable. I guess that's just a bug in the system. Put V1 as noted. Uh, change the alien to gauge. And what I did is I first per pulled up the sketch and then took out some of the, def the, 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 the definitions that I needed and uh, used some of the other code that was pertinent to the temperature sensor which is down here at the bottom and added it to it. Um, once I did that, I went ahead and added the sensor after I'd done flashed it, and it came right up. Uh, these are actual temperatures because if I go to my Pi 01, I also have temperature sensors there as well. And uh, let me change this back. Oh, so the values are not yet correct. So that's something I need to fix. So it's not putting out the correct temperature yet. I need to debug that. But I did get the sensor to read. I think that might be a wiring issue on my part. I think I've got something connected wrong. So here's the light switch. And what, what I did for this is after you add the actual device, you can go to device settings and you've got three different selections. You can do virtual channels, integrated ADC, or the GPIO. You select the GPIO and you've got your, your channel selections down here, up to 13. So which is no big deal because you can't use 15 anyways and there's only a few channels you can use on the, the 7. So once I did that, <clears throat> I can now turn the LED on and let me turn it off and turn it off what I'll do is I'll fix this temperature sensor setting uh, to see if I can't get it to pop up right um, and then I will repost and I'll also put some instructions online